In this video, we are going to see how to auto-publish your Instagram posts to multiple social media platforms. So let's say that every time you create a post on Instagram, you want that automatically it should be posted on other platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook group, etc. How can you do that? For this, you will have to set up some integration between these applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So every time a post is created on Instagram, automatically it will be posted on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook group. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side, you can see two tabs, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that here, we have reached the all applications page where I'm going to click on access now for Public Connect as we are doing this integration using Public Connect software. Now here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is to auto publish Instagram posts to multiple social media platforms, which means that as soon as I've created a post on Instagram, then automatically the same post should be posted on Facebook or Twitter and LinkedIn, etc. So now I'm going to click on create. And here we have reached another important window, which has got two significant events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger. So here my trigger application would be Instagram for business. Let's click on this. And the trigger event would be new media posted in my account. Here on the right hand side, you can see it is written that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes, which basically means that if you run this workflow, so this workflow will run after every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. So now I'm going to click on connect. As soon as I do that, here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Instagram for business account. To set up this connection, I'm going to choose add new connection and then connect with Instagram for business. Now here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that now Instagram is connected with Public Connect and Public Connect would have access to the information. Once done here, we have to choose the account. So it has already chosen the account. And now I'm going to take you to my Instagram account. So here you can see that this is the home page. This is the name of my account, the username. And now I'm going to create a post here. So let's click on create, select from computer. Let's say that I want to post this open. I'm going to select the size here, this size, click on next, again, click on next. Here, let me write a caption. Green is the need of the hour. And now I'm going to click on share. So here you can see that the post has been shared. Now I'm going to put a cross and here you can see that it is now visible on my page. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, I'm going to click on save and send test request. As soon as I do that, the last data which was posted on Instagram, the API result will have that. And here you can see the username is this. Then what is the media type? It's an image. This is the media URL. So this is your URL. Then this is the permalink and this is the caption green is the need of the hour. This is exactly the same caption that we have just posted. And as I take you down here, we have the time. Now this is basically the timestamp. When was this posted? Now, what is my objective? That as soon as it is posted on Instagram, it, it should automatically be posted on different social media platforms. So let's select our action application as Twitter. Now I'm going to click on this. And the action event here would be to create a tweet with media. I'm going to click on this and click on connect. Again here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Twitter account. Let's click on add new connection, connect with Twitter. I have already logged into my Twitter account. I'm just here to authorize the app. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. 
once this is connected with Pabli Connect, here we have to map this information. Mapping means that now the message that I wish to write, the URL, the media category, this is what would be posted on my Twitter account. So I'm going to take the information to my previous step. So as I click on this, here you can see the previous step and this is the caption. So this is known as mapping where I'm not writing anything manually. Why is it important? Because if I write anything manually, it wouldn't be able to take the new data and it will always, even if the workflow will run for the nth time, it will only take the manually written data, which we do not want. That is why mapping is important so that the new data can be inculcated. So this is my message. Now the file URL, again, I'm going to go to step one and this is the URL. And what is the category? It is an image. Let's click on save and send test request. So as I do that, now I'm going to take you to my Twitter account. This is my Twitter account. This is my profile. And here you can see that green is the need of the hour. Seven seconds ago, this has been posted here, which basically means that till here, our workflow is going on the right track. Now taking you back to Pabli Connect here, the next action step, the application that I'm going to choose here is Facebook group. So this is my Facebook group. So let's say that I've created a particular group and here I also wish to send a photo. Let's click on connect. Again, here Pabli Connect wants an access to the Facebook groups account. So let's click on add new connection, connect with Facebook groups. And here again, we have to confirm the account once done here you can see that the authorization has been successful so facebook group is again connected with pabli connect and now here first of all we have to specify the group so let me show you my facebook group that i've just created this is social circle this is a group that i have just created how do you do that so if i take you to home here we have the groups and you can click on this create new group to create your own group. This is social circle. And now here I wish to post the same post that I had created on Instagram. So taking you back to Pabli Connect, this is my group. Now what is the photo URL? Let's go to step one, map this information. This is the URL. And then the description here, I'm going to write the caption. So this is our caption, right? Let's click on save and send test request. And yes, it is done. So taking you to Facebook and now I'm going to quickly refresh this page. And here you can see that few seconds ago, green is the need of the hour. This has been posted on Facebook group as well, right? And now let's say that I also want to send it on LinkedIn. So my next action application here would be LinkedIn. Let's click on this and the action event here would be to share an article or URL. Let's click on this, click on connect again here. Let's click on add new connection, connect with LinkedIn. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that LinkedIn is now connected with Pabli Connect. Once done here, we have to fill in this information. So the author is Ashi. Let me show you my LinkedIn account. So this is the author Ashi Zwei. And now what is the content? So here I'm going to map the caption. So this is the caption. Now the URL. So here is the URL. And now let's click on save and send test request. You can change the visibility from public to private. Now we have received the API response, which means that now it should become a part of the LinkedIn account taking you to LinkedIn. So here you can see as I go to post green is the need of the hour. This has been posted here. So that is it, which basically means that our integration process is a complete success. But we also need to check this in real time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you back to Instagram and here I'm going to create another post, select from computer. And this time let's say it is Happy Diwali. Let's select the size, click on next, next. Now I'm going to write a simple caption, Happy Diwali. And now I'm going to click on share. So here we can see that our post has been shared. And now we know that as soon as this post is shared here, automatically it should get reflected on LinkedIn, Facebook groups and Twitter. But we also know that Instagram, this application has a polling of 10 minutes. So now we are going to wait for 10 minutes 
and then we are going to go back to the three different social media accounts and check if our data has been posted there so now i'm going to take you to linkedin and here we are i'm going to refresh this page quickly and here you can see that happy diwali has been posted now taking you to twitter again i'm going to refresh this page go to profile and here you can see that happy diwali post has been posted then taking you to facebook group i'm going to refresh this page once again and again here the same post is getting reflected here which means that our entire integration process is absolutely success now let me take you back to public connect to understand the entire process so this was an extremely easy integration the trigger the application was instagram for business the event was new media posted in my account then the next action application was twitter where we the event was create tweet with media the next action application was facebook groups where the event was post photo and the final action application was linkedin where the event was share an article or url i hope this is absolutely clear if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box of this video you can also clone the same and start processing immediately apart from this if you have any particular integration that you wish to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com/connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.